So the front entryway kind of goes like this in the driveway. These guys are out here talking and they just uh, viewed the property a second ago. quality door a little bit more indicative of more quality construction all right so in the entryway we've got a darker um, darker brown uh, wood style a laminate so not super um, not super uh, high quality as far as the flooring but Pleasant enough, I would say. Um, we've got an open concept. That's good. Here's a, like a, back, uh, a study sort of area with double doors. We've got carpet. Carpet's in good shape. So yeah, it's like a perfect uh, room for a study office. So we're back to the front door there. This coat closets go, that's a big one. So there's a working motor on this. I'm not gonna worry about the hot water here. This is a relatively new house. Um, unfinished, unpainted uh, walls and ceilings here, but they're in, you know, plenty good shape. Hard to see a whole lot more in this room because of all the stuff, but it looks fine. A lot less concerned about it when the home is this new. Another closet. Half bathroom, has the laminate floors in it. Nothing fancy in here, that's for sure. So, you know, from the front door, got this pretty deep closet. There's that bathroom, another closet, garage. You know, higher quality interior doors too, I would add. There's that study, so I kind of took you in a big circle there now kitchen. We've got a quartz countertop. Um, that's good. That's good. I mean, it's not the highest quality you could get, certainly, but that's good. Electric range. Darker cabinets. No poles on them. That's fine. <laughs> um, here's a pantry. Backsplash. I like the fact that it's uh, gray, so it'd be more kind of modern with what the current color tastes are. Um, here's another closet. Ooh, lots of space in there. That's cool. And plenty bright. Plenty bright in here. Very bright in that office. Very bright in this living area, which is nice and spacious. You have the open concept, which is, of course... Uh, preferred these days. So my number one concern about this property was not the schools. And I say not the schools given the fact that it's relatively so inexpensive and so relatively close to central Austin. But my number one concern is the smaller lot size. Prior to coming here, I should say. So let's go solve that. Let's go get a verdict on that right now. Okay, so as far as this lot size, which is only 0 0.10, this is about as good as I could ever anticipate. There's still a yard. You can still do something back here. We knew it wasn't gonna be fancy being 0.10. I mean, my goodness but there actually is some space back here. I mean, we see yards half this size. Um, 
with lot sizes that are twice the, the size of this one. So uh, that couldn't have worked out really any better as far as the lot size. Um, boy, that's an immense amount of siding to have to care for. I, I don't think it's ever gonna, should you go with this? This would be hardy backer and yeah, I wouldn't worry about it actually. It's gonna be somebody else's problem down the line, but that that is an immense amount of siding on this home. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna pause so that the video is easier to upload. <laughs> 